This is your last chance. Spoiler alert, it doesn't matter which pill you take, a fourth Matrix is coming for you either way. Here's what we know about the Matrix 4 so far. More than 20 years have passed since Neo first entered the Matrix, and now the Wachowskis' mind-bending trilogy that generated $1.6 billion is getting another installment. It's not possible. Warner Brothers has been eager to make another Matrix for years. In 2017, Michael B. Jordan's name was floated as Morpheus, and Ready Player One scribe Zach Penn was attached to write. Then, amid Keanu Reeves' box office hot streak with John Wick 3 and Toy Story 4, Duke Kaboom, Canada's greatest stuntman. <laughs> Lana Wachowski delivered a new script to the studio that generated lots of buzz, and a green light came in August 2019. Plot leaks have been non-existent, so it's hard to know whether we're getting a sequel to the events that culminated in The Matrix Revolutions, a prequel to the whole trilogy, or something in between. But the latest casting news may offer some clues. Keanu Reeves and Carrie Ann Moss are returning to reprise their roles as Neo and Trinity, which is all the more fascinating given both characters died in the third film. What's alive and well is Keanu's star power, and after he revives another timeless character of his and Bill and Ted face the music, he will suit back up as Neo. But how will his story continue after being deleted by Agent Smith? Neo's godlike ability to simply bend and break the Matrix as the one might be sufficient enough logic to explain his appearance in a sequel, but given the franchise's complexity, it's probably not that simple. I didn't say it would be easy. You may remember that Neo was one of six different iterations of the one within various matrices, so the story could be playing with an alternate reality within. We also shouldn't overlook the fact that Neo has technically died before in the first film before a declaration of love from Trinity brought him back to life. So perhaps a similar revival is what propels Keanu's Neo into a true sequel. It's worth noting that such a resurrection could not be possible with Trinity, a human without Neo's anomaly code. What could support the revival of our dead heroine is the theory that her data was stored in the cache in the Matrix once Neo was able to truly separate his mind from his body. So perhaps she's being copy and pasted back in. I just want you to know that I'm here. Complicating these theories are rumors that Wachowski is also casting a young Neo and Morpheus. This will feel a little weird. Rising star Yahya Abdul-Mateen II, who you've seen in Aquaman, joined the cast in October. His role here remains secret, though sources believe he will play young Morpheus, which lends credence to the potential of a prequel, especially since there's no indication Lawrence Fishburne will return yet. Another young actor primed to join the cast is Jessica Henwick, who played Nymira San in Game of Thrones and Colleen Wing in The Defenders and Iron Fist for Marvel. Could she be the young Neo Lana Wachowski is looking for? Or even a young Trinity? Next to nothing is known about the character Actor Neil Patrick Harris will be playing in the fourth film either. Whether he'll be an ally to Neo or an adversary in the vein of Agent Smith is anyone's guess, but the tentpole role is certainly big news for the How I Met Your Mother star. Cause I'm awesome! Jada Pinkett Smith is still in negotiations to return as Niobe, the rebel from Zion who appeared in films two and three, but we hope it's only a matter of time. Unlike the first three films, this won't be a sibling affair for the Wachowskis. Only Lana will be directing, but she's surrounded by longtime collaborators in Alexander Heeman and David Mitchell. Both were writers on Sense8, the Wachowskis' Emmy-nominated Netflix series, and Mitchell also wrote the novel Cloud Atlas. The three will share screenplay credit here. The studio is eager to begin shooting in early 2020, but you likely won't see the film until sometime in 2022. Whether that gives you enough time to understand what you've already seen is up to you.